Hey guys, Warrior here, and welcome back to Dying Light 2, episode 70. Can you believe it? We are 30 episodes away from hitting 100, and we will do that. That is a 100% guarantee. Because we still gotta do, do the PK play, playthrough. So we might get close to like, what, 150? <laughs> Did you imagine? I announced episode 100. Okay. Seriously, what is it with this? Is it? <sighs> Every time I go down there, I'm stuck. I can't move. I can't jump. I can't do anything. It's not this out. Once you go up, don't go down. Ever. Because <laughs> you'll never be able to move. So we do the other thing we can do. Jumping off the side of the building. Okay, grand. We are on the right side that I want to be. And we're going to finish off the carrier's missions. Today we're doing number seven and beyond. Until we're done with them. Can I hear the voices? I want to hear the voices. That should be something I should have checked beforehand. Thought there was a person standing there. If I can't hear the voices of people, the sound that the zombie makes, that means you're not going to hear anything because the sound is bad. Okay, I'm hearing the zombie moans and groans as soon as they die and I hit him and all that. Which means we should now have audio for the voices. Yeah, I've played this game in after now exactly what to do. <laughs> I know how to like fight all the bugs. There's only one other annoying bug, but I'll tell you right after we're done talking to the skull. Hey Professor, got any new deliveries for me? Sure do. Here they are. And what about any history lessons? Maybe another time. The way things are going around here, I need to focus on the here and now. Ah, well, I totally get that. Okay, later. Totally understandable. Another bug I'm dealing with. It's right whenever I'm trying to load in a save. It's either a hit or miss. Or it's the game crashing while it's loading the save. And that happened twice in a row this morning. But okay. Ah! Oh no, no, oh. Ah, roll. Okay, cool. We're good. <laughs> okay, so. We got two deliveries to do. We're back on, the, on delivering things. Yeah, I'm gonna say. You do. Never mind, you're lucky. Okay. Yeah. Side mission. How's I not? No way. I am in the right save. <laughs> I was about to check. Wait, I'm in the right save. How's I not done that side mission yet? Well, that's another one we add to our list. But our focus is the carriers today. And nothing else but the carriers. Just gonna stamina back a little bit. I could have fast traveled. Could have fast traveled. But we are on our way. Oh, these chemicals. I knew this one is dead ahead. There we go. Okay, now there's a run to do this man's. A woman's. And give her. Or him. Oh, wow. I could just say that. Give them a letter or package or whatever it be. Excuse me, zombie. 
I got more important business to attend to. Like stopping and trying to stop a sneeze is about to happen. <laughs> okay. Sneeze avoided. Awesome. Package! Package for you. Thank you. Holy. I can't believe you got it. What's that? My fiance's ring. It was lost. Lost? I lost her. She was wearing it when the power went out. By the time it was back on, she turned and fled into the night. That's terrible. It was on her shambling course. Knowing that thing was wearing it, the ring I gave her tore me up. It was an obscenity. But I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't face her. Not like that. So, who got a hold of the ring? Dinesh. He promised he'd track her down and get it for me. He came through. Dinesh would have been my best man. He's my best friend. No, sounds like it. Hopefully you can start to put this past... No, 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 no. What? There's a note in here. It's from Dinesh's sister. She says... She says... D Dinesh was out too long. He was already turning. When he came back... They had to kill him. But they found the ring... Clutched in his hand. Oh, I, I don't know what to say. Oh my word! I mean, you think it could, could get any worse? I mean... Oh my days. That is just messed up. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. But for her, it hasn't quite sunk in yet, so someone recommended that Nadal for her to care for. That seems crazy, but we hope it might help her heal. Your son just pooped, Ferris! He even has the cutest poops! Oh. How sweet. Look, we just need some privacy, so please keep this under your hat. Here's a little extra. I can't take this. Anyway, it'd be a violation of my carrier's oath if I said anything. I know, but look, she needs a doll to feel better, and I need this, so just take it. Understood. Thank you. Oh, good! <laughs> so you're Driscoll's new golden boy. And you are? Someone who's had his eye on you. I get that a lot. Smart ass. You're not much to look at. Now, let me guess. You're Derek. End the flesh, loser. Carriers used to be heroes. That insignia used to mean something. Well, it sounds to me like your behavior wasn't all that heroic when you were a carrier. Fine. I made some mistakes, but I believed in what we did. Not like you, fucking pilgrim. 
I know what you're after. You're just trying to get some information and then bail. Maybe that's how it started, but that's not how it is now. Bullshit. I'm gonna show them what being a real carrier is all about. Teach everyone a lesson. And you? You're cocky. You'll slip up. And I'll be there when you do. Pilgrim. Oh, really? Really? Oh. Well, yeah. Let's have some dialogue in the box. Woman, Zai Ho Zhao, Yu, Shan Yang. Trying to learn Chinese? Wait, or is that Japanese? Yeah, I have a really hard time distinguishing between the two when I look at the writing. That's another side quest for us to worry about. Huh. What's that one called? I don't remember that one at all. I can learn a new language, yeah? <laughs> it's good. Map, would you please open? Thank you. What's this quest? Satellite dream, huh? I don't remember that. Oh, the carrier's boxes pop up on the map. The carrier lockers. Well, hey, while I'm here in the map, I might as well fast travel. Why not? So that's two more submissions to deal with. Yeah, the one that made sure where we can't run. We have to jump to move faster. At least, I'm not gonna go up or down because I keep getting stuck right here, so I'm gonna use this instead. <laughs> done and done! Let's go! I met a fellow named Derek. He was not friendly. You're back? What the hell happened? Infected? No, met Derek. Tearful fellow. Not resentful at all. So you talked. Do you think he's behind Mike's death and the other disappearances? It could be. Seems to have it out for the entire outfit, even though he claims to revere it. And he knows enough to understand what would happen if the guild were destroyed. That makes him very dangerous. So where is he? I don't know. I didn't follow him after. Came straight back here. There's more reasons to be careful then. Oh! Carriers 8! No, that's 7. This is Carriers 8. I'm just waiting around for something bad to happen. You have any deliveries for me? I do. But remember... You have more than Derek to worry about out there. Don't worry, Professor. Postmen have been delivering in adverse conditions for thousands of years. The paths we walk become roads. Isn't that the same? Well, aye, but the roads better not be bustling with the infected. Especially the types we're seeing now. Reports of new and frankly terrifying new creatures. Yeah, I've seen plenty. God help us. I wouldn't hold your breath for that. How far is that? 400! Well, is there a fast travel conveniently nice and close by? That way? Sort of! Oh, hey, hey, hey. Derek could be behind Mike's murder. Keep my light on. Get out of this darkness. Is that a picture of a dog? It is a doggo. 
There's more cute pictures than ever. Cute! Looks like our big dog right now. <laughs> and those are the small ones. Not like Chihuahua small, more like I guess Jack Russell kind of size around there. Never had any massive dogs in my life. Plus, I don't think I want to. <laughs> I'm seven meters away. I imagine I gotta get, get in here. Here we go. Package. Mail for you, sir. Thanks. About time. Been quiet around here lately. Oh, uh, honey, I, I could have gotten that. Stop that, Tiny. Don't you treat me like I'm useless, too. I didn't mean that. I, I just, just remember, I only lost a leg. I didn't become one of those things. No, no. But, um, but, well, um, who, who's the letter from? HQ. And I can tell you what it says before I open it. Yep. Yeah. I've been booted. No longer fit for duty. No, oh, honey. Oh, shut up. I don't need your pity. What I need is something to fucking do. Right now, I'm just a lame horse waiting to be shot. Well, maybe just give it some time, honey. There's plenty of someone in your condition can... What did I just say? None of your fucking pity. I may have lost my leg, but I can still chase you down. I still got two hands to slap you with. So shut your fucking mouth. Excuse me. You open this door immediately. I got a nice weapon here. I can ride the, the grind the weapon. I'm gonna full of fire right for your face. If you're planning on abusing your life. Does not sound good. Now come on, wall run up. Thank you, and there we go. Uh, entrance over here. And back it. Gary's guild. Thank you. Wait a moment, won't you please? Is someone at the door, Giselle? No, mother. I was just locking it. Thank you for the letter. It's from my love, Kelt. He lives on the other side of the city. We belong together, but my parents forbid it. Ah, uh, yeah. Seems like a local fashion these days. But I'm not sure what I can do for you. For one, you can just listen. I have no one else to talk to. Okay. And you can have this letter delivered. If he could afford to leave his family, we would be together. But he can't. So I'll go to him. The letter says where he should meet me. Okay. I'll take this back to the guild. Oh. Take it back to the guild. Okay, a letter to be delivered. From the guild, I should have landed in fast travel. That would have been easier and quicker. We would have been running up the metro stairs already. We probably would have already been climbing the ladders. If only fast travel. Actually, faster to run, to walk, versus jumping. Okay, jumping is faster. Okay, ladder time. From one ladder to another ladder.
Hey Disco, I got something for you to package and deliver later. Hey, hot shot. How deliveries go? Not the usual. I was given the letter. I'll make sure that's processed. Thanks, Professor. Bloody hell, you're just scrambling up the ladder here. A few more rooms and you're gonna get promoted again. <laughs> good! But good! Carriers 8 complete. Uh, let me guess. How's it hanging? I've got no deliveries. It's like people have got out of life over this room. <laughs> okay. Then we shall go do our sleeps. Three sleeps and we're good. Okay, night time, daytime, and night time again. Then we should get a call from Driscoll. All right, let's go. Awesome, I'll be there with Carriers 9 tomorrow. Okay, it's morning time, let's go do some more deliveries. Well, it's raining. It's cold. Here I am. <sighs> right. I only get stuck if I go down that way. So I have to go down! Okay! What you got for me? It's on the menu today, Professor. Ah, just a few deliveries. A few or a lot. I'll take whatever. Good man. Okay, two deliveries. I don't have a feeling something's gonna happen. There's been no one to talk to at the guild, but we just encountered Derek today. Whew, that's even further away than me fast travel. <laughs> and they're in two different locations and they're in two different regions. No, just... Five miles one way and five miles the other way. Yeesh. <laughs> I should probably go to this one over here first. Yeah, that's a lot closer. That's definitely what we should do. It's about my fast travel, we have to make a far run anyway. So... Hey, a wind will take me out even higher. Let's go. The higher I can get the better! Is there an event that will boost me up even higher? No, that's okay. I'm sure we can fly 200 meters. Then it's the almost 500, 100 meter run to that one over there. Boost event. I don't really want to get hit by that one. It's roughly yeah. here. Hey, a perfect choice. Good floor. <laughs> I heard my words are wrong. Picked the right floor to land on is what kind of what I meant to say. But hey, deliver! 
carrier with a letter for you? Excellent, thank you. Oh, very interesting. This is not quite the news I expected, but welcome nonetheless. What's that, ma'am? Forgive me if I am not at liberty to say. As a carrier, I'm sure you of all people understand the value of information. Yes, yeah, certainly. The Guild has its network, but we overseers, I would say we are more like spiders. We crisscross the city with our webs and take notice when we feel a tug on this thread or that. I see. I'm sure you do. And yes, we occasionally feed upon the poor flies caught in our web, but we're just as likely to give them a treat as well. To keep our web strong, of course. Of course. So, perhaps I won't share the tidbit that got caught on my web this time, but I will reward the fly who tugged on the thread and called it to my attention. Make sure my little fly is rewarded. And there's a little morsel for you as well. Okay, thank you. Bring that back to the other one so I go back. Now, to go almost 500 meters this way. Show you? Let's see, perhaps over here? Yeah, here's the good launch point. Launch! And open. There we go. Okay. I went to the Vinci Tower. Keep it going, keep it going. Can we make it all the way without running out of stamina? I don't know about that story. <laughs> and because we have to boost up, so and we have to we're about to land anyway, so we made it quite far without having to land. I don't know why I thought there was a zip line. Well, there's a zip line. But not where I thought one was. Okay, uh this away? This one? Yep, here we are. Later. The Carrier's Guild, here's the package for you. Oh my, I've been waiting for this. The new issue of Flickr Fanfare magazine. What's that? The best source for behind the scenes info on your favorite movies, their stars and directors. Oh look, it says here that Lana Kasdan has a new film coming out. And that Eggie Canby's performance in the Quigley is a tour de force. Uh, what's a movie? <laughs> you know if you read Flickr fanfare, my friend. I used to read them slavishly when I was younger. I recently found someone with a complete collection. I pay him to send me an issue a month. I feel like I'm back in the old days when movies were being made and magazine subscriptions were in vogue. I see. Interesting. Forgive my pathetic nostalgia, but the arrival of these rags, and yes, they were rags even then, well, it takes me back. They're a monthly oasis from the pervasive drear around us. I can't argue with you there. So don't. Now, leave me. It says that Teddy Canterbury is having an affair with his leading lady, and he's married to a man. Oh, I swear the cat is just insatiable. Sounds like a wonderful talk. A wonderful talk about a magazine and what Atkins is doing behind the scenes, yada yada. I'll fall asleep easily. <laughs> oh, yay. Yeah, yeah. That sounded very, very boring. 
to read about what actors are doing behind the scenes and the fairs and uh Boring! Let me hop my way over. <laughs> Back to Driscoll. Anyone here? No. It's back in one piece, I see. Of course. Uh, here's a message I was given. I'll take care of that. Now get your ass back here soon. These messages aren't going to deliver themselves. Oh, no, I'm right here. Just pass them on. Are we done with Carriers 9? On to Carriers 10. I'm restless, Professor. I need something to do. I've got some deliveries for you. Sweet. Just watch yourself. There's something in the air. Oh, like what? I can't put my finger on it. But watch your back. Oh, he's got a gut feeling something's gonna happen. Uh oh. Probably Derek. Most likely. Hey, I can use this to jump off. Let go. There we go. I can use this to go up, launch myself from the very top of this building, and then, well, <laughs> go on our way. Unless, oh goodness me! That is a distance. A very, very, very far distance. That's an old Villador. <laughs> we have the fast travel. Oh, goodness me. Oh, wow. Here I was ready to paraglide. I would be paragliding forever. I'm eventually getting stuck. Behind an invisible wall or just a, la a lane of chemicals everywhere. And I saw the distance is 1.2 kilometers away from me. I'm like, oh wow. Hold the phone. <laughs> Where is this? Because I'm not about to run 1.2 kilometers. Forget that. No, sorry. Let's fly our way over. First one's right over here. So I don't open a window, there's a door above and below I can enter. Here. I can go down. Package. I have a letter for you. Oh, look at this envelope, Berto. So pretty. I bet it's a wedding invitation. God, I hope not. My tux rotted away years ago. How oh, hush. Yep, it's a wedding. And can you believe it? Garrett, you know him. Of course I do. What's he getting married for? That kid's played women like a loose game of three-card Monty for a while now. Stop. It's a girl named Cordelia. Cordelia? <laughs> I remember her from somewhere. You asked me that girl was selling not so much goods, but plenty of services, if you know what I mean. You're terrible. I'm sure she's very sweet and they'll make a great couple. Maybe you say so. But I don't want to go for their wedding. That marriage will be over in a month. And besides, my tux rotted away years ago. Oh, don't you worry. It's an announcement, not an invitation. Oh. So they're just rubbing our noses in their so-called love. Well, I can live with that. It means we don't have to buy gifts. Besides, my tux. Oh, will you just please shut up about your tux? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that guy... and me... 
hate going to family gatherings. Absolutely. You'll be despise family gatherings. <laughs> That one down here. Uh, uh, entrances. Oh, the chief. Oh, the chief from the ground up. Invitation. Ah, oh, invitation. Window. Here we go. Ah! Me up. Something's spotting me. It's further up. Package! Carrier Steel's here with a letter. Thank you so much, sir. So kind of you to bring it. Of course, ma'am. Happy to be here. I don't get much in the way of visitors. I'm sorry to... How's the bazaar these days? Still bustling? Oh, how it smelled. Some thought it rank, but not me. It's been so long. Well, at least you have people writing to you to tell you stories of the world outside your flat. Yes, yes. I'm a lucky woman at that. <laughs> Listen to me bending your ear. Forgive an old woman. I'll let you go. No trouble at all, ma'am. How oh, she's Krasinski today, Carrier? She seemed fine, I guess. Why? I'm just wondering. She's all alone. Got no one. I worry about her. Well, I, I just delivered a letter, so she must have someone. Not really. I mean, I talk to her. But I also send those letters for her. The only other people she gets to talk to are you carriers. I had no idea. You're not supposed to. But I've been thinking lately. If something happens to me, Who's been licking on Mrs. Krasinski? She's so alone. I just thought you should know. Thanks. That's just sad. She just wants someone to talk to. At least he's looking out for her. Jason, we have a situation. Uh oh. What's going on? Another ambush. This time it's Jack. He just radioed an SOS. Oh, shit. Look, I know you guys don't get along, but. It doesn't matter. Just tell me where he is. I'm sending you the coordinates. Okay, I'm on it. If he calls again, tell him I'm on my way. Uh-oh. He's here. And all through the door. I might look good to you. <clears throat> we need to go help him. Even though Derek was the guy didn't like me much, and I didn't like him much, but still. That don't matter. We gotta sell, save him, <laughs> save himself, uh, uh, help and save, slave, I don't know. Dick! I'm here, is it? Knock on some doors, see if anyone heard or saw anything. There's a family nearby. There's a family nearby. Excuse me, have you heard anything about Derek? Hello? Who is it? What do you want? I'm from the Carrier's Guild. I need your help. What kind of help? A fellow Carrier was attacked nearby. Did you hear or see anything? Yes, I saw something. What I saw convinced me that it's death for me to tell another soul. You have nothing to fear. The Carrier's Guild will protect you. Can you? You want to protect us? Try clearing this floor of the infected. You know what it's like to live in a dark zone when monsters are lurking outside your front door all the time? My family and I are in enough danger without you added to our worries. So leave me be. Ask someone else. Alright, I'll clear them out. And you'll help me then? I'm sure you mean well, kid. But even if you succeeded, more would move in soon. You'll probably just get yourself killed in the process. Hey! It was worth a shot. You got nothing to lose. You're either crazy or desperate. But do it. If you survive, come back, and we'll talk. Oh, really? So you're worried about the... 
The infected where? Are uh, the infected here? <laughs> if I survive. Oh, please. <laughs> Uncommon, or whatever is he gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? An uncommon, fantastic, that's exactly what we needed. I should take those throwing knives. Part in the dog. All done. A3, the infected are gone. For now. You slain them? All of them? All of them. So you have. Fine then. I will tell your view, friend. He was surprised by masked men. Uh oh. He couldn't even put up much of a fight. They just overwhelmed him and dragged him into a nearby building. Uh oh. Is it inhabited? I don't believe so. Except for the infected, of course. Oh, great. Okay, thank you. He may have saved a life today. And you have provided my family a respite from constant terror. Even if it lasts only for one night, we will be eternally grateful. Cool. Renegades. Hey, God, Derek. Have to help him. We absolutely have to help him. You mean this door over here? Knock, knock. This at your door. Looks like you carriers are as reliable as your reputation. Or should I say, predictable? I predict I'm gonna beat your ass. You're having a party and you didn't invite me. I'm hurt. What the? Derek, the prodigal carrier So you are behind this after all. What are you talking about? I'm here to save your ass. Save your own ass. Kill them both, boys. Okay, okay. Let me take care of you first. Whoa, Terry. Okay, I guess you did, you, you did save me there. What the weapon damage right with that damage and that weapon is trash. Thanks. Looks like I misjudged you. Same as everyone else. But, um... I told you I'd have my eye on you, Pilgrim. And I have. Especially since our first meeting. You're good. But when I saw you walking into a trap, I stepped in. I told you I'd be there when you slipped up. Uh, I, I guess I took it the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. So you're not the one hunting down carriers? No. But I've been investigating. I've concluded it's someone on the inside. Fuck. Any idea who? I have my suspicions, but for now, I'm going after Jack. But you were following him too? Yeah, but I lost him after he was dragged in here. And then you showed up. He can't even be far. Call in all carriers. HQ is under attack. Nearby carrier to HQ immediately. We need help. Oh, fuck. That's Driscoll. We gotta get back to HQ. Let's divide and conquer. You head to HQ and I'll find Jack. Okay, I'll radio in when you find him. I'm heading to HQ. Watch yourself, Pilgrim. And good luck. Oh, crud, they're attacking me in HQ. Come on, come on, Nap, open up! We gotta go! Come on, come on, come on! Now I've got the time to walk slowly! Building next door is going to attack! Go! Go! <laughs> Jump for your life, go! No, don't grab onto things, move it! <laughs> What's going on in here? Oh. Welcome to the Dead Letter Office, punk. You're working in the dead. 
to come back to the guild and killing carriers isn't the way to do it then who's behind all this now derek believes it's someone on the inside i agree yeah i find that hard to believe uh oh what do they find gotta come see what Personalities like Jack and Derek around, his nice guy routine kept him off everyone's radar. Eden, <sighs> it's Derek. I found Jack. He's dead. No, his killers are too, but I beat a confession from one of them before finishing him off. What did you learn? Jaime was working for Waltz. Waltz is behind this? Waltz? I didn't see that coming. Thanks, Derek. Gather Jack's things if you can. I'll be in touch. Roger that, Pokemon. Oh man, Jack's dead so too. Waltz after destroying the carriers to disrupt the network. Waltz isn't a destroyer. He wants to control the network. He wants our archives all to himself. I've heard about the carrier's Bible. Is there more? A lot more. Maps, other books. Vast quantities of intel gathered over the years. Every little detail about the city and the surrounding areas as well. And Waltz is no doubt trying to gather complete information about the city. Maybe about its citizens. He's looking for something and I need to know what. I need to see the archives. That's information reserved for only the highest ranks of the Carrier's Guild. However, you've more than proven yourself. Earned your place among our elite Carriers. Come on. Okay. Maybe something about my sisters in the archives. Your time has come, Hotshot. Welcome to the top tier of the Carrier's Guild ranks. Not bad for a pilgrim. You are officially the elite of the elite. The best of the best of the very best of the guild. Our secrets are now your secrets. To honor this occasion, I have something for you. Congratulations, Hotshot. And I think what you were when you joined. Some snotty nosed little punk. And what you are now. A carrier. <laughs> Makes me proud. With your fearless dedication and service, you've earned the right to ask of the rest of us how we can serve you. You get one favor. So ask away, and make it good, Hotshot. Oh, man. Want access to elite guild lockers, or de want Derek back in the guild? I'm gonna put Derek back in the guild. I asked that Derek be reinstated as a carrier. He saved my life, and even as an outcast, had this guild's back. He admits to his mistakes, and I believe he'll work hard to make up for him. But well, if you say so, I'll believe you. We'll restore Derek immediately. Thank you. 
From now on, treat me like an open book. Okay. There is probably a great deal that you'd like to know. One answer's hot shot. Now's your chance to ask. Why are we turning away? Can we ask about my this sister? Captain News, uh, meet me in the ask captain. Away. If I really am, say thank you. I want to date in person. Oh, there he goes, me to come to him. Do you know anything about Mia? I'm looking for a girl named Mia. She'd be about my age now. <laughs> a little younger. Do you know anything about her? No, I'm afraid not. Anything else you can tell me about her? Yeah, she was one of Walt's experimental subjects. No, one of his victims. Fifteen years ago. There were more girls. The carriers know of one of them. It was hard to keep that one out of trouble. <laughs> Sounds like it could be her. Maybe. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. She goes by the name of Luan. Ah. She hangs out with Frank, as far as I know. Oh, I see. Uh, thank you. Dang. Know any, anything about X-13? Can you tell me anything about X-13? X-13? Interesting. Not quite, but listen to this. Back in the day, the military coded strategic locations around the city with an X and a number. This included sites like water towers, power stations. The higher the number, the more strategically important the location. But I've never heard of any location with a higher designation than X-9. So, what's strategically important about X-13? Have no idea. But I'll tell you, it's not a place for guys like you and me, lad. Hmm. I wonder what it means then. Okay, what do you got about Jack Matt? Can you tell me any more about Major Matt? Before the revolution, Jack Matt was an undistinguished military major. He made his name by refusing William's order to shoot civilians. He managed to get most rank and file soldiers to join him in siding with the people and helping their revolution succeed. He's considered by many as not just a hero, but the city's savior. That was then. Now I hear he's more and more after personal gain than the help of the citizens. Yeah. That sounds like he's on a power trip. It's too bad. It really is. What you got on Juan Rainer? So, what about this Rainer character? Character's right. He's responsible for bringing together all the trade unions necessary to get the wall built. This had him mixing with nearly everyone in the city, both the big wigs and everyday people. He leveraged his role to make himself very, very rich. Which made him an unlikely revolutionary leader, but he became one nonetheless. He was ground zero for the rebellion. Although his true motivations have never quite been clear. He came out on top in any case. And manages the supply chain for the peacekeepers. He's up there with Matt in influence. He's got the exquisite taste. And in the course of his duties, manages to obtain all manner of rare artifacts his people come across. Well, he's become quite the collector. Hmm, sounds like a colorful individual. I wonder if we got this before we met Juan Rainer at all. How that would have changed the story. Would it have changed the narrative at all? If we learned this. Before we even met one at all. Huh. What you got about the Night Runners? So, what's the real story on the Night Runners? Who were they? Heroes to most. Started out pretty simple. A group of soldiers who became infected during a mission. Now, usually, infection spelled the end of a military career. Too much risk. Especially with so many night operations. However, Around this time, the military created something called inhibitors. Not only did they prolong the time you could spend in the dark, but also greatly enhanced motor skills and other senses. The downside was the side effects of inhibitors. They kicked the crap out of most people if they didn't outright kill you. Given a choice, most soldiers took the risk to remain in active duty and to continue to make a difference in the battle. That's why people consider them heroes. Not just because they did so much to help so many, but because they joined the revolution on the people's behalf. 
they were the real deal. It's quite a story. Wow. What about Colonel Williams? So who's this Colonel Williams? Oh yes, Colonel Chris Williams, aka the Butcher. Ooh, how do you earn that nickname? If you hadn't just asked me, I'd say you don't want to know. But since you asked, Williams was the right hand man of General Pratt, the nominal head of security for the city. I say nominal because it was an open secret that Williams was Pratt's puppet master. Pratt was a nepotism promotion and of no practical military use. Growing bold, Williams ordered a chemical strike on the city while Pratt was stuck at the bottom of a whiskey bottle. Unable to cope with the conflict, the responsibility of military command, and really, well, anything not whiskey related. What happened next is common knowledge. William's attack triggered the revolution. With Pratt having abdicated all authority, Williams ordered the military to shoot civilians. Most of the soldiers refused his order, and the end of armed conflict came swiftly. But not before the colonel and many of his supporters made the dam his personal stronghold. Shortly after that, lucky for him, he took in waltz. Wow, you're a butcher indeed. Thanks for the information. Okay, what about the revolution? So what really brought on the revolution? It had been building for a while. Under William's direction, the military was increasingly unconcerned with collateral damage or civilian fatalities. The chemical strike was the match that lit the bonfire. The military explanation for the chemical strike was to eliminate the infected in evacuated areas of the city. Fact is, most areas had not been evacuated. Crowds of survivors remained, huddled on roofs, sheltering in place. Citizens, but also undocumented refugees from all over Europe. There was no way to know who was healthy and who was infected. There was a massacre, and half the city's population was wiped out. Oh my God. It was a tragedy beyond comprehension. Was Williams that bloodthirsty and cruel? Was the military that disorganized that it didn't know its own evacuation plans? In the end, it doesn't really matter. Death and chaos enveloped the city, and those who survived had had enough. And so, as people have done throughout the ages, they rose up in revolution. <sighs> I hardly know what to say. Uh, this has been quite an education. Thanks, Professor. No problem, kiddo. Wish more of my carriers were as curious as you. A question for you, Professor. Ask away. Oh, I can't say anything else. Nothing right now. Sure, Hotshot. You know where to find me. We can't say anything else anymore. We're done. Ah. Sadly, that brings an end to the carrier quest. We are done with them. I think the nicest guy we talked to was the guy behind all of these attacks. Yeah. Well, okay. Now that the carrier is finally complete, what next? What should we do next? We got side quests everywhere. Huh, let's see, what's this? Undying affection, what is that? I oh, no, don't remember that one. The Living Dead, okay. And then there's two side missions over on the PK Fort. Oh my, and we still have that one challenge to do that somewhere out here. 
I forgot where it is. I won't, I won't have a time for it. That's how I can find it. Wasn't this one over here? Yeah. No, that's not, not, not Night Runner Trial 5. Yeah, we still have to do all these Night Runner Trials. Now that I'm saving for another episode, that'll happen at some point. What we got here? Oh, that's the Prison of Interest Quiz. And we might finally get to that at some point. Still quite a few missions to do, but I'd say we can do at least two an episode. Because I believe there are no more quests that go on from like, like the carriers. Carriers 1, 2, 3, 4, there's no other side quest that leads on like that anymore. Da ba ba. The book club and the carriers are the only ones that go up that far. Oh, right, wait a minute. We're not quite done yet. The carrier's ten. Right. <clears throat> Derek radioed over while we were talking to Driscoll. He wants to meet us. I forgot. <clears throat> not quite finished yet. We'll deal with all of you. Hmm. I can still just easily go to the quest menu and go to the challenges and see which ones I haven't done yet. And I can probably track them too. Hopefully. Come on, give me a boost. There we go. I'm gonna go around. There we go. You're higher than him now, but uh Ish. They're harder to climb than the other ones because they're smaller. <laughs> the smaller ones act more like a ladder. This one you gotta use some serious force to climb it. Oh, hey, Derek. Thanks, Aiden. You don't know what being back in the guild means to me. Don't thank me. You proved yourself. Maybe, but you made it happen. Here. Take this. What's that? A little toy I whipped up for myself. I want you to have it. I call it Deliverance. And it's yours. Oh shit. Look at this. Thanks, man. Use it in good health. Or I'll find your corpse and steal it back, Pill. Aiden. Roger that. You take care, Derek. Okay. Thanks, man. The deliverance of the 74 damage! <sighs> okay, now we are officially done with the carriers. And we got two more skill points to require for the combat and one more for the parkour. And then we are good. So what are we gonna go for next? Well, let me go over to the journal. Look now over to the challenges. We have 33. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it's not. I thought all these are ones that we haven't finished. Look at all these challenges. Oh, slam dunk is so difficult. I tried that. I remember that. 
Water and lightning. Suspension of disbelief. Two minutes and five seconds. If I pin that, oh man, I can't track it, so it won't show me where it is. Okay, we'll deal with the challenges at another time. Side missions, challenges, and then main missions, because I mean, if we finish all the challenges, then we're fine. Fish balloon, a fish with a mustache. Let's see, what shall we do next time? I want to track it so I don't forget it. As soon as the map opens, there we go. So, what we could do is focus on region. He perhaps do everything in downtown because I see two missions. One hiding underneath a challenge. Then I forget that. No, I don't remember that one. I'm dying affection. Don't know that one. We could do those two in that region. And there's this one here. The Persons of Interest quiz. Along with, isn't this the one that needed... There's a suspension of disbelief. So it's right over here, okay. You can do two quests at a time. Living Dead. Okay. What a name for a quest. And Satellite Dream. Satellite Dream might just be a talking quest, like the quizzes. We'll see. We'll get to them, though. So what, we got two here, one there, that's three, four... Seven. Seven side missions left. And a bunch of challenges to do. Then we are done. I'm sure we took care of all the activities. Yep, all the activities are complete. I think we already did all of that. <laughs> and it goes, and it goes, and it goes. Oh man. That goes forever. I don't know how many that is, it doesn't say though. This is a sort. Completed, active. Ooh, wait a minute. Can I do that with completed? Empty. Not oh, great. Active, they're all active. Great. That's not going to help me with which ones I've done and not done. We we'll just have to go along the list and look at them. I know Slam Dunk's over in, in the old the door. We tried that. <laughs> Too difficult. Water and Lightning Challenge we did ages ago. Suspension of disbelief, you know, didn't do that. I think that, isn't that the one that required us to have a certain skill? Which I believe we have. Now. Yeah, it wanted the wall combo. Which I've never done before. Ever. So, <laughs> that's going to be a first time. And then, well, I'll see. What else there is to do? Gotta make sure at least I have a personal best on any all of these, except for some of them. Like Slam Dunk. I'm gonna be there for like two hours trying to do things. 
And all the Night Runner Trials. Night Runner Trial 3 all the way to 10. I mean, that's the same. You're sending that, that for an episode. We did number 2, I believe. Yeah, 2 and 1. Yeah. Try Night Runner Trial 1 and 2 is over in Old the Villador. Yeah, but we're saving those Night Runner Trials for a separate episode. So we can do all of them in one episode. But, side missions first. And like I said, we're going to be focusing on these. Why don't we go and get Undying Affection done and dusted and bring ourselves... What's close to the canteen fast travel or the other metro in downtown? Hmm. Don't know. If I stay here and I get back up here, it's an easy 225 meter flight with a paraglider. Can do that without a problem. But uh, I'm dead. Great. Starting to roll, and I realize we've fallen too far. Oh well, we're gonna be at the canteen regardless. And I think this is where we shall start as well. This is all fine and dandy. You know what? I'm gonna take Derek's weapon that he gave me, and I'm gonna put it in here as a memory, okay? Cool. Right now then, so, if you guys didn't see the first episode or the previous episode of Dying Light T, you guys can go to the beginning of the video. There will be two cards popping up there. You can click on those if you're interested. There's also a whole bunch of links in the description. One link will take you to the Dying Light 2 playlist. Two others will take you to my Facebook pages. And one other link will take you to my website. If you are interested, they will all be in the bottom of the description. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, share it if you really liked it, comment and subscribe if you wish, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Seriously. Peace out. Cool boy.